Hi folks, welcome to Glenmore Lodge. My name's Mark Chadwick, I'm one of the members of the ski department here at Glenmore Lodge. With the first of the snows now falling in the mountains and our thoughts starting to turn towards time out skiing and the good times we can have enjoying that snow, I thought over the next few minutes we would run through packing a rucksack and this would be a day trip rucksack, a rucksack for sort of touring in the mountains over a day and returning back at the end in the evening. I'm going to run through all the bits and pieces that I would sort of pack and carry with me and then we'll look at actually how you'd stow it away in your rucksack. So first of all, I thought we'd look at the bits of kit that we'd always want to carry with us. And for me, the first bits of kit that I always think about would be the transceiver, shovel and the probe. Obviously the transceiver is going to be worn under your jacket close to your body. Packed away in a stuff sack is your skins that you're going to carry with you. Extra layers that you might want to take out with you on the hill, fleece top and always carry a duvet jacket with me as well. If it is sunny out there, it's nice to have a sun cap to put on. Also, very important, sun cream, lip salve and shades. If it's not so nice while you're out there or you want a bit more cover, then a pair of goggles to pop on as well. Keeping you nice and warm, obviously a hat for your head and a nice fleecy neck gaiter helps as well. Having a glove system helps, thin pair of gloves, medium weight pair of gloves and a thick pair of gloves for the cold conditions. Along with that, you always want to have a bit of nice food to have, a cold drink, a nice hot drink to take with you as well. Head torch for if it gets dark too quickly, camera to capture all those good occasions, a watch to help you navigate and keep track of the time, along with the navigation, GPS, compass and map. And then as a group kit, I would always carry first aid kit, ski repair kit and a group shelter and also a phone for any emergencies. Sometimes I'll carry a helmet with me. To carry all of this kit, you need to pack it in an appropriate size rucksack that everything fits into. A good ski bag will fit close to your body so it's not bouncing around when you're skiing. You want easy access compartments, so a big zip front to access your shovel and probe, and then a big zip compartment at the back so you can easily pack everything away and also you can easily access it when you're out in the mountains so you're not having to dig through a deep rucksack. Along with that, having a system on your bag that allows allows you to carry skis on it, either on the side or a strapping system that you can carry them across the front body of your rucksack is really important. You may have noticed this extra pile of kit over on this side of the table. To hear about why to carry this stuff and when to carry it, if you follow the link to the second in the series of these film clips, you'll hear all about it then. Hopefully this will help you to have remembered all the key bits and pieces of equipment that you want to carry with you when you're out and about in the mountains and that'll allow you to enjoy it in those days when the snow's fallen, there's perfect cover over the hilltops and you're out there having a fantastic day in the mountains.